Hi, Stephen Caleb with Brown Ells here, and today we have another edition of Smithbusters. We're going to look at whether or not you should stake the castle nut on your receiver extension tube. And some people say you should always stake it, some people say you should never stake it. And where are you? Squarely in the middle or? I wouldn't say in the middle, but I'm definitely more towards the side of always stake it. Because you're ex-military. I'm ex-military. I've done a lot of armor work for different police agencies as well. And one of the big kind of turning points that, that kind of affected me as far as, yes, you should always stake it, is um, I was doing armor work for the Federal Reserve Bank in New Orleans. And I would do their annual armor stuff. And the guy before me was very against staking it. He uh -huh. said it's a waste of time. You can't get anything off, yada, yada, yada. So when I replaced him, I went there the year after. And every single one of their castle nuts on every one of their ARs, they had roughly 20, they were right. all loose. Right. They were all, I could unscrew all of them by hand. Because those guns got used and handled a lot. They got used every single day. Yeah. So from that point forward, I was definitely towards, yeah, always stake it. If you're going to be using your firearm, you should definitely be staking that end plate to that castle nut. And i got to be honest, uh, even though I don't stake my own uh, castle nuts, if it's for law enforcement or military, or it's constant use, mm -hmm. I would definitely stake it. But on my stuff, I'm always switching things back and forth and playing with different butt stocks and things, and I'm, you know. Yeah, so I, I definitely understand that side of it. And there's a good alternative to that because you don't want to be staking it, breaking the stake every time you, you right. want to change something around. So yeah, right. I, I, as a gunsmith, obviously I get that. So there's a good alternative to that. Uh, PWS has made the ratchet type setup which uses a pin and detent to ratchet it down. Yeah. So all Pretty you gotta slick do, idea. yeah, it doesn't loosen during vibration. You just add a little bit of torque right. to it and it comes right off. So. so you got the best of both worlds right there. Right, and exactly. Th this particular one's a pistol tube, oh. but it's available for rifles and carbines as well. Right, and you don't have to get the tube either. You can just get the nut and end plate. Yep. So it's an excellent system. Um, I think it's definitely worth it if you're gonna be you know, switching things around. So jumping online on the internet of course as i do with all the smith yeah. busters yeah jump on the forums there's more people battling towards the side of don't stake it than stake it and it just kind of blows my mind I, I don't think these people use their firearms a lot um either that or they just change stuff around so much in between using their firearm that they never get to see sure. it come loose but um yeah i say definitely if you're on the side of never stake it um, I would say that that's for sure a myth. Okay. Cause yeah, it's, if it's just a range gun that you, you know, you know a play gun, mm -hmm. no big deal. If it's a competition gun, I would want it staked. I wouldn't want anything coming loose during a, during a shoot. Absolutely. Yeah, and in those situations, you can't afford not to. Right. But so. it's, it's not that hard to do. Um, I have seen a couple castanets, you know, available that didn't have the little indentation to make room for a stake. Mm -hmm. Uh, but most of them still come with it, as far as I know. Yeah, and even if you don't have that indentation, staking the end plate to put pressure against it mm -hmm. is better than nothing. Yeah, so. it'll give you some traction. Yep, absolutely. So, you can come down on either side you like, but uh, I think all in all, if the gun's going to be used hard, you'd be much better off staking the gun. Agreed. Yeah, so. Myth is... Uh, I guess you can say for range guns, plausible, for... Duty guns busted. Oh yeah, yeah, so. definitely. Military and police, stake them. We hope you enjoyed this edition. If you have any thoughts on this matter, if you stake yours or refuse to stake yours, leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smithbusters. <laughs>